I am Jonathan Miner. I'm a pediatric sports medicine physician here at Chalk Children's Hospital. I'm here to talk about overuse injuries in the athlete. Overuse injuries occur in many sports. One very common sport is uh, baseball, and for that matter, any throwing athlete, such as a water polo player or a football quarterback who is doing a lot of repetitive throwing. We also see a lot of overuse injuries in runners just from putting in too many miles of running without enough time to recover uh, in between runs. And a third example of an overuse injury would be an athlete who is transitioning between sports um, despite playing a couple of different sports. If the sports hold very similar body postures and body movements such as a hockey player and a lacrosse player, the body still has not had a chance to recover from being in that same position and the same stance for many hours of play and oftentimes will lead to various injuries throughout the body. Overuse injuries are quite common, particularly here in Southern California, where the weather allows our athletes to single sport specialize at a very early age. Uh, for example, baseball, soccer, swimming, where these athletes are playing the exact same sport for 12 months of the year without allowing the body several months to recover. In the acute phase, it's important to treat uh, injury very, like, very much like even a, an ankle sprain, uh, oftentimes with some rest, some time away from the sport, appropriate uh, icing, compression, and elevation if there's any swelling. Physical therapy oftentimes is very helpful at making sure that an athlete has fully functional and restored range of motion and strengthening. That physical therapy also comes in handy at preventing the injury in the future. Minimally invasive options such as ultrasound guided injections can be useful at helping decrease inflammation, allowing a patient to actually undergo the physical therapy and the strengthening so that they don't have a repeat injury in the future or perhaps something more severe. So the long-term consequences of an overuse injury are one, uh, additional injuries where the body has compensated. So if a runner has foot pain on one side and they have learned how to run in a different way, they're winding up putting more pressure on the opposite side of the body and wind up having other additional injuries. Other long-term consequences of continuing to play despite pain include the development of chronic pain where the nerves become overstimulated and some athletes may wind up having chronic pain in either that one joint, sometimes throughout the body, even psychologically they're affected and may not ever be able to attain playing at that same level that they previously played at because they've never learned how to play without pain.